The 1960s were really a turbulent and exciting time for this country. Many of the younger Asian American activists in San Francisco were involved in the San Francisco student strike, officially the third world student strike, demanding more community involvement by the university. We learned a lot about the history of our own people. We learned about the history of San Francisco. In the early and mid-60s, because Chinatown was subject to the Chinese Exclusion Act for the century before that, which limited severely the amount of immigration from China and Hong Kong. But with new legislation, the 1965 Immigration Act, there was many more Chinese that were allowed into this country, and many of them settled in the Chinatown. Most of the immigrants were low income, did not speak English, unskilled. So with the emergence of a huge new immigrant population, so many new nonprofits were being formed in the mid-60s to serve the growing Chinese immigrant population. The Chinatown CDC was established until 1977. We wanted to create leadership for an entire community. Back in 1977, our first board chair was Phil Chin. The first staff I hired was Sue Lee as a community organizer. Norman Fong, the executive director of the Chinatown CDC, has been with the organization over 27 years now. The roots of the organization were started a decade before. So we were able to hit the ground running. We were able to start an organization with credibility already established through those voluntary efforts from those organizations who were involved in Mailing Yun, I Hotel, Transportation, Chinese Playground. As some of Chinatown's very first environmentalists, they cared about open space and they cared about children. So I am indebted to leaders like Harry, Harry Chuck, uh, Bev Carnats, and, and Cameron House for their leadership in saving the Chinese Playground in 1968. Chinatown trip was the first totally voluntary transportation advocacy group in San Francisco. The Mailing Union Senior Housing Project was an example of the importance of building new affordable housing. 